Armin here with another tip. Okay, this one is is why I like to fast for 24 hours, one to two days a week. Now, when you do a 24 hour fast, basically you're just going to have water. You can have some coffee. You can have some tea. There's no calories really in it, so that's fine. That gives you a little bit of stimulation, so that helps you get through the day. Uh, the one thing I do recommend when you're doing a 24 hour fast is you want to um, be low carb. In other words, not have a lot of carbohydrates probably seven to seven or eight days prior to that. Or if you've been low carb, then you'll be fine. The, the reason for that is because you'll burn a lot more body fat and you don't have the hunger. Now, if you've been eating carbohydrates, you got elevated insulin, there's a good chance you're going to be fairly hungry, uh, which will make the fasting a little tougher. So what I found is when, when you're staying low carb, you don't really notice it a whole lot because you start burning fat pretty quickly. And the thing is, you're, it, this process helps to perk up your hormones, which also makes you feel good, which is also good for you. And hormones are what burn fat. Uh, now, another thing is what happens is because you're fasting, any undigested proteins will get uh, burned up and utilized and they'll be cannibalized as well. And then old senescent cells, cells that aren't functioning well, that are dying, those will get cannibalized as well. So you're going to clear out these cells that could potentially, you know, over a long period of time could become cancerous because they're, you know, they're damaged. And if they decide to start replicating, that's what can cause cancer. Now, that's just a, you know, just a thing that's been mentioned. But it's, it's something that when you're clearing out old citizen cells, that's a good thing. And then potentially, depending on how often you're fasting, it could also stimulate stem cells, which is new cells, which is great. It comes from the bone marrow. So these are all good things to know. One thing I do want to say is do not do a 24-hour fast if you're weight training. That's counterproductive. You're just going to tear down more muscle. You're not going to get the benefits. And that means no cardio. Just let the body deal with that mild level of stress of, you know, no food. Now, the other thing is, is because it's, you know, no food, it's cheap and it's free and you don't have to worry about eating. So your day becomes very efficient because you're just focused on getting things done. And you're not going to eat any food. Now, when it comes to breaking the fast, I do suggest that if you the first time you do it, you may want to use some softer foods like soup or something like that, with a little bit of bread, even though it's got carbs in it, because your body's going to be replenishing itself. But it helps that digestive system to pick back up. Now, as you continue to fast, that's usually not a big deal. All right. So again, just to kind of reconfirm, fasting will get rid of undigested proteins and get rid of. It can help with getting rid of un. Uh, uh, senescent old cells that aren't functioning well. It's going to perk up your hormones, which makes you feel better and also helps to burn fat. And you have a, a tremendous amount of benefits with it uh, as, as you can, as you incorporate it. So again, I like to do one to two days a week on my off day of training. And I do this with my clients as well. And it is very beneficial. All right. Hopefully this made sense to you and you, you got some good takeaways. If not, then pop some questions down below. If you like it, hit like. Uh, share it with other people you care about, and then also subscribe to the channel. Other than that, let's uh, have a great day, and we'll talk to you again real soon.